so I have to fill all the organic compounds in my one beaker. Is that possible? So hear me out very clearly. Can salmon, isha with acid chloride and acid amide nitrile aldehyde and kevin along fill the aminethalkene alkynes? What kind of a rubbish is this? So, are you ready for the rap again? So, let's drop the beat. Can salmon, isha with acid chloride and acid amide nitrile aldehyde and kevin along fill the aminethalkene alkynes? So, can Sam, Isha and Kevin, Kevin looks a little bit weird, but can they fill up all the organic compounds in that beaker? So, for that answer, I'll give you in a moment, what kind of a weird rap is that? Is that useful to you? Indeed, that is very useful to you because this is nothing but the preference order for IUPAC nomenclature. No need to worry about naming the compounds because here I've got a rap for you. Here CAN stands for carboxylic acids and here SAM stands for sulfonic acids and for anhydrides and here ASIA is nothing but our esters. Whereas acid chlorides, acid amide, nitrile, aldehyde is just a part of the rap. Kevin here is nothing but you must have figured out that is ketones here. And along stands for alcohols followed by fill is nothing but if I pronounce phenols with ph. So that will be my phenols here and the stands for thiols. Finally, amine, eth is a part of the rap and is ethers, alkene and alkynes. So let me just hear out once again, can salmon, isha with acid chloride and acid amide nitrile aldehyde and kevin along fill the aminethalkene alkynes? So, here's the preference order of IUPAC nomenclature. So, carboxylic acids followed by sulfonic acids, esters, acid chlorides, acid amides, nitrile, aldehydes, ketones, alcohols, phenol, thiols, amines, ethers, alkenes and alkynes. So, you have finally got this order right. Let's just try out a question related to it, which says here there is an aldehyde group, aldehyde, and here is a ketone. So as per the rap, you must be singing it by now. So as per the rap, I have to have number this aldehyde first, this ketone as second, and this as third. So in that case, if I'm trying to number it here as 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 and finally 6. So on to the third position, there will be keto. So finally, I have got my answer as if it option is D or A. So 3 keto, that I've got it. On to my first, it's aldehyde. So it will be hex 4 enol. But what about 2 methyl hex 5? On to the fifth position, it's ene. So here I can very well get that on to the fourth position. I've got the double bond here. Finally, I've got the solution to this question, which is A here in this case. And just a matter of wrap, I've got my answer right. So, for more videos, stay tuned.